Right, it's time to debunk a myth in Gen 2. TempFS. People always say you need to use TempFS to speed up your compiles and to increase the lifespan of your SSD. And well, it's a load of BS really. I think everyone that still counts this from the IDE days when we were limited to 100 megabytes, sorry, yeah, 100 megabytes per second in transfer speed back when this stuff used to matter. But nowadays, SSDs have come a long way. Like, even the old ones are past this. We're talking about first gen ones used to have a, a really low read fail modern ones you can generally write 60 to 140 gigabytes per day and still get the five to seven years lifespan out of them which i know in your head's gonna sound bad but let's carry on everyone on youtube seems to recommend this here's a selection of a few that i found but is there any truth in it like, what does it do? Uh, let's go for my machines. I have a, a SanDisk uh, SSD, 64 gigabytes, very old. I bought it in uh, 2014. I believe it was first manufactured in 2008. So uh, pretty old, it's SATA 2, not even 3. And this has been my main Gen 2 Arch and God knows what else, Windows, you name it. It's had operating systems on it. It's been written all day. That drive's still in use today. Um, I used to use it as a swap drive, um, and now it is in my M68K laptop. So it's only had a few years going. Was that 2013? So you know, it's had about 12 years of life. Not bad for a device that's only supposed to last five. We then have my NVMe, which I brought in. 2007 now i'm an extreme gen 2 user i reinstall my system weekly and that's a full rebuild because i do package testing um, i also build multiple systems so i build for my raspberry pis my slower laptops my pentium it gives a lot of building you know what i mean like let's take a quick look and see how much I have used on this and smart control okay so I've written 61.8 terabytes of data so I've had seven years of life out of this so I'm actually out of warranty on it now. Let's do a bit of quick maths on this. So we'll divide that by seven for the seven years that I've owned a device. We'll then uh, we'll then times that by 1,024 uh, 1, to get it into gigabytes, and then we'll divide that by uh, 365 for the days in a year. And you can quickly see that I write 24.84853229 gigabytes of data per day. Now I'm an extreme user, as I've already said. And that's what I've used. So I am way, way under the maximum write level of, well, even on the lower end of a cheap card of 60 gig a day. So, yeah you don't need to worry about this let's be real but let's say you ignore me and all you care about is speed I've set up a quick test let's quickly enable tempfs there we go and if I do mount you can see that I've got the I've got the file in mount temp so Let's quickly emerge this. I'm going to do uh, Stevel GCC and I'm going to do Nano. So we've got a small package and a large package. See how much time we save. Hmm. 
Okay, let's go and take a look at the packages then that we've just done. So, a Q lock. Yeah, nano. But we've saved one second by using a TempFS drive on a small package. And we've saved 45 seconds on a big package of GCC. Oh wow, thank you so much! Now, 45 seconds, that's not even a minute time save that we've made. And we've already proven that lifespan doesn't matter. Is it worth it? Not really, no. And then you're going to go to me, oh, how about if... I've got old hardware. Oh, that's when you're going to get into bigger issues. Because bearing in mind, I've got 64 gigabytes of RAM to fill my threads up because I do package testing. If you think about it, say you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM and a oh, we'll go for an eight thread machine. You're going to be using up half your RAM space for the TempFS drive for a package like GCC. So you're going to not have any RAM left to compile your package. So you're actually going to slow it down, not make it faster. So yeah, these times that I've shown you are on a reasonably good computer and I've only saved myself well less than a minute. It's just, it's not worth it. And even if you, even if you uh, take away all my warnings and just ignore them, You've got to deal with the package envy. So for big packages like Firefox, Rust, LLVM, stuff like that that uses a lot of space, like it's going to need way more than eight gig. I mean, what Rust is up to 13 gigabytes nowadays. You need to change that out if you've got enough RAM to use a bigger TempFS drive, or you're going to end up with a fail. So all that time save, you're gonna make is gonna be put into managing your system. You, you, it's not gonna work out for the maths, is it? You know what I mean? So, what have we learned today? TempFS is not a magical bullet that's gonna speed up your install. Maybe, maybe if you end up with a 2003 machine that's got so much RAM we're going to say 64 gigabytes of RAM, like, you know, you ended up with an old Optron. Maybe then you're going to get a good speed boost, because as I say, back in 2003, you got good times out of this. But we solved the I.O. bottleneck in computers a long time ago. Um, and we've also fixed the, the read-write issues of, well, the write lifetimes of an SSD a long time ago. The advice you're hearing over the internet is old, out of date, and just doesn't exist anymore. So it, it's time to stop listening to people that don't know what they're talking about and uh, just get on with your life and enjoy it, innit? But yeah, I hope you've uh, learned something today and uh, you're not going to do the silly things that I see about like people recommending uh, other users spend 250 quid on a RAM upgrade to save 40 seconds on one package because that's just not good money saving of well, money advice at all but yeah sorry if I hurt your feelings and I'll uh, catch you on the next one keep compiling so it's clear I have a gen to addiction if you want to help enable me and in exchange make interesting videos for you why not consider being like these wonderful people and donating to me um, prices start at one dollar and it helps me to do tasks such as these please consider um, clicking on the patreon link to find out more cheers guys